So as you may know, I am in New York City. I am super excited about being here. I decided just to take a walk this morning and um, part of Vlogtober, I have a couple things that I actually wrote down. Actually 17 different video ideas that I wanna actually do this month that also coincides with some of the things that I have going on. So one of the things I wanted to talk about yesterday, I flew in to New York City. I flew American Airlines direct from Columbia, South Carolina to LaGuardia, which is important to me because we don't have many direct flights from Columbia because it's such a small airport. I also got to fly first class, which was great. And so whenever you do fly first class, what you'll notice is you'll get a drink or beverage of your choice right before takeoff. And that's while everybody else is actually boarding the flight, you'll be able to um, actually go ahead and have a, a drink of your choice. What I wanna warn you about is don't be people that's on in first class saying, I'm trying to order, I wanna order this and I wanna order that. and trying to get your money's worth. That's not the right mindset. That is not a wealth mindset. That is not an abundance mindset. That is a scarcity mindset when you're trying to take and get as much as you can because you think you paid for it or you think you deserve it. Um, don't, don't do that. That's not the mindset that first class is built for. And what I can tell you is what you're not going to get is your money's worth by just the alcoholic beverages. The money worth part is the convenience the experience um, that you're actually gonna get by flying first class. Um, I do try to fly first class when I can. Now, sometimes when I book tickets, the flights for first class is two, three thousand dollars. I'm not paying that for a ticket. To me, that's uh, a little wasteful right now. And so I will not pay that amount for a ticket. But I do uh, book main or um, what does it call it? Like main or I don't book, I try not to book economy where I'm all the way in the back of the plane unless I have absolutely no choice. I do like to have the choice of seating or to go on with group five. Uh, but what I usually do is book those tickets and then upgrade later because that's the cool thing about it once you book your ticket you'll get these notifications that says hey you have an upgrade available and oftentimes it's a whole lot cheaper than if you would have just purchased it first class right out um, I saw that with the trip I'm book that I booked going to Las Vegas and then leaving Las Vegas and going to Palm Co Palm Desert um, some wildlife behind me got me a little nervous <laughs> Uh, but no, let me start over. So I did book whenever I, I saw this whenever I booked my ticket uh, recently to Las Vegas and I'm leaving Las Vegas and going to Palm Desert, California. Um, I had to book, of course, a couple of one way multi city flights in order to uh, make the trip work. And some of the first class ticket prices was expensive. It was like two, three thousand dollars. I'm not going to doing that. So maybe about two, three days later, I get a notification that an upgrade is available and I was able to upgrade several of those legs of that flight for like $200. I had another one for $80. Um, so that's how I ended up in first class. Now, why do I fly first class? I think first class puts you in a different mindset and the mindset just puts you in one of convenience, one of um, wealth, one of just business mindset and you never know who you're going to meet in first class and I just think it's a it's a different experience and it just sets me up and puts me in a in a better mood I guess or a better mindset and mindset is where it's all starting and you have to have a money mindset if you really want to be successful in some of these things so that is one of the main reasons why um, I try and fly first class and how I kind of score my tickets for my flights without actually paying several thousands of dollars for the ticket um, when I'm actually doing the booking itself. So also when I fly, I try and valet park. One of the reasons why I valet park is again, because of convenience. So if you know Columbia Airport and how small it is, you're probably saying, Renata, why in the world would you valet park at Columbia? Well, number one, it just saves me time from having to find a park and then having to get all my stuff out and walk to the airport, uh, which is not far, uh, but it also allows me more time to get to the airport. And I have been pushing it close every time most recently because if I'm, I know I need to be there at least an hour to get my bag checked. However, if I'm not checking a bag, I could probably get there like 30 minutes before the flight and be just fine. Uh, so hopefully one of these days I don't get caught up and miss my flight. Uh, but one of the reasons why I valet park is really just out of convenience. And the really convenient part is when you return and your car is sitting there waiting for you and all you got to do is get in it and drive off. I don't have to go and remember that I parked that K3 or T4 
for I just my car is sitting there waiting for me so that's a big convenience that I enjoy the third thing that I wanted to share with you about my travels is why do I prefer uber black and so whenever I travel especially on business travel if it is business travel more than likely I am going to take uber black uh, and, and often and in most cases, it may be an Uber Black XL SUV. Again, it is back to putting me in money mindset. If I know that I'm going to do some networking or if I'm going to try and close a deal or have a business proposition meeting, whatever it may be, it is key for me to be in that money, wealth, uh, business closed mindset as soon as my trip starts and so that starts with going first class that starts with valet parking um, and that goes into taking uber blacks wherever I go and then just the fact of uber black to me gives me the experience that I'm being chauffeured by like a private driver um, and it just comes with a different this comes with a good, different mindset uh, once again and there is some convenience baked into that because whenever I was in where were we at? Oh, Los Angeles. We were at a hotel and they had uh, two different parking areas or two different pickup areas for your Uber and Lyft drivers. And if you had an Uber XL, you got picked up on the main floor of the hotel. So you came out of the hotel lobby and Uber Black could pick you up there. And then the non Uber Blacks, you had to walk down and um, you had to walk down some steps to the right of the hotel in order to be picked up. So again, it goes back to convenience uh, it, again. So, and this, all those things just put me in a mindset. This puts me in a, a great business mindset. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how I actually travel um, and what it does for me and putting me in this money mindset. Let me know in the comments how you fly. Do you Have you ever flown first class before? Do you enjoy it? Um, just tell me more about your experience and what you think about the video, what you think about New York City. That's one of my very favorite places to visit. So super excited to be here.